In this video, you'll learn how to optimize and troubleshoot the connection between your MetaQuest 2 or MetaQuest headset and your PC using Quest AirLink. Quest AirLink wirelessly connects your headset to your PC, so you can play PC VR games on your Quest 2 or Quest. Before we start, you'll want to make sure your PC meets the minimum requirements. You can find a full list of specifications on our support site, but here are the basics. Minimum requirements for AirLink. In addition to meeting the minimum PC requirements, make sure the software on both your Quest PC app and headset are up to date. Updates to your MetaQuest 2 are automatic OTA. You should also check and make sure the drivers on your computer are up to date. You can visit your driver provider's website to ensure there aren't any known issues that could impact performance. Once you've confirmed your PC meets the minimum requirements for AirLink and your software and drivers are up to date, there are a few more things you can do to troubleshoot or improve your AirLink connection. If you're setting up AirLink and your Quest PC app doesn't detect your headset, please make sure your PC is not connected to VPN, that you have Wi-Fi enabled on your headset on the same network as the PC. You have the Quest Link toggle turned on in your system settings menu. You have the Use AirLink toggle turned on under Quest Link in your quick settings menu. If the issue persists, Going back to the Quest Link settings and toggling off and on Quest Link can restore the connection to your PC. Make sure your headset has a strong Wi-Fi connection. If available, use a 5 GHz band with 80 MHz plus channel bandwidth. We also recommend connecting your PC to your router via Ethernet cable. You can check if your AirLink setup meets requirements by clicking on Troubleshoot in the Quest Link dialog. If possible, having a dedicated Wi-Fi router for AirLink gaming can improve your performance. You can also limit the number of devices on the network to allow more bandwidth for AirLink. And don't forget, you can always contact MetaStore support for more help.